Hi, I'm Dr. Ken Berry. I'm a family physician, and in the next few minutes on this very short video, I want to discuss with you a skin sign that means something that you may not know that it meant that. Your doctor, in fact, may not know that there's a direct correlation between skin tags and a very, very dangerous metabolic syndrome. And so that's what we're going to talk about in this, this video. So what skin tags really mean? Uh, millions of people have skin tags. There looks like there may be a little bit of a genetic component. In other words, if your family has skin tags, then you may be a little more likely to have skin tags. Uh, there may be a viral component to this. We're not sure. But by far the vast majority of the cause of skin tags, especially if you have multiple skin tags. And uh, if you don't know what skin tags are, they're those little tags of skin. Usually you have them around your eyes. You can have them on your neck, under your armpits, in your groin area. Uh, dermatologists will tell you this is where skin rubs skin. But the problem with that theory is, is there are millions of people out there with eyelids and armpits and groins, and they don't have any skin tags at all. But their skin rubs together just like mine and yours. So there must be something else, something deeper going on. And that's what I want you to learn in this short video. So the, the medical term for skin tags is acrocodons or acrocordons. And they're benign. They're never cancer. You don't have to worry about that. But what you have to worry about is what's going on inside your body. The skin tag itself is not dangerous at all. Uh, you have to have a, a minor surgical procedure to have the skin tag removed. But removing all the skin tags on your body does not remove the risk of the syndrome that's going on inside your body. Uh, the big danger from skin tags is metabolic syndrome insulin resistance, hyperinsulinemia, prediabetes, and type 2 diabetes. There is a direct association between the number of skin tags that you have on your body, regardless of where they're at, and your risk of developing hyperinsulinemia, prediabetes, and ultimately type 2 diabetes. There's also a direct relationship between the number of skin tags you have and being obese. But that's not because just being obese causes skin tags. It's because of the metabolic syndrome, insulin resistance, hyperinsulinemia. That's what's causing your skin tags. And so you can go to a skin specialist or a family doctor. I've removed thousands and thousands of skin tags in my career. But if they don't tell you, hey, you know, you can keep these from happening. You can actually reverse the ones that you already have and make them get smaller and smaller and go completely away. Uh, I don't mind chopping off skin tags all day. It pays very well. But I think you'd rather fix the underlying problem. And that's the fact that you're just eating too many carbohydrates and too many processed carbohydrates. There's actually a diet that tens of thousands of people have used to shrink or completely uh, reverse and remove their skin tags. And that is the low carb, keto, carnivore, banting, Atkins diet. These diets all lower your blood sugar levels back to low normal. They lower your insulin levels back to low normal. And that, that gets rid of the hyperinsulinemia. It gets rid of the blood sugar spikes. And then your skin tags just start to go away. Now, if you don't believe me, and I understand you may not, I want everyone who's used low-carb keto carnivore as a, for weight loss or whatever you used it for, but you've also noticed months later in the shower or months later looking in the mirror, hey, my skin tags are gone. If that's happened to you, put that in the comments because so many people who are new to this way of eating, they don't believe these sorts of things. And I don't blame them. They're like, wait, keto cures everything? What are you talking about, doc? Read the comments if you're unsure about this and watch the hundreds and hundreds of comments of people who say, yeah, when I went keto, low carb, carnivore, banting, my skin tags went away and I just don't make skin tags anymore. So there may be a genetic component that makes up one or two percent of your risk of developing skin tags. There may be a viral component that makes up one or two percent of your risk of developing skin tags. Skin tags don't go away on their own if you're eating the standard American diet or a high carbohydrate diet. They just keep getting bigger and you keep getting more and more as years go by. And I know you don't want that. So I'm going to put a, a little pop-up window either here or here of the diet that's going to make your skin tags go away. Now, if you want to go to the doctor and go ahead and have the minor surgical procedure that, that just whacks them off, basically, 
Go and do that. That's fine. But if you don't correct the underlying problem, they're just going to come back and they're going to bring their friends. So watch the videos that pop up here. And if you enjoy this video, please subscribe to this. If my videos have helped your health in some way, then please consider clicking on the Patreon link down below. It's a quick sign up and you can throw a buck or two my way so that I have more time and more resources to make videos just like this. This is Dr. Barry. I'll see you next time.